Hey, I'm live. So hello, everybody out there. Please let me know if uh, my voice and audio is coming across just fine. If the game audio is coming okay, okay. This is the first time I'm going to be using the Evercade VS for a stream. So this is going to be for a high score or a high. They call them a squad challenge over at Atari.io. That's forums.atari.io. That's like um, it's a friendly little forum site about retro stuff. Highly Atari, but other retro stuff too. And so this is basically a high score challenge kind of deal. And it's for BMX, the BMX event in uh, California games. And uh, as I said in my in my comments, super chats are welcome, but they're not necessary. And this is the first time using my Evercade VS. So you can see I have um, the Technos arcade cartridge in and the Atari Lynx Collection 2, which is what I'm using for this one. And you can see how it's set up here if you've never seen a VS in operation. So let's do a sort. So you can sort by release. You can sort by players and by title. So there you go. So let's see. So Pirate Gamer Boy is here. He says, Evercade was wondering how you do an Atari Lynx uh, stream in good quality. Yep, can't really use the portable. Kamchia says, I love California games. It's one of my favorite to play via retro achievements. I even did a bit of art inspired by the game. And by the way, I have a Discord server. And if you ever have anything that you created, whether it be art like Kamchia has, if you have a YouTube show, if you have a podcast you work on, you could share it over on my Discord server. There's a, a, a section for like user created stuff, stuff that other people make. Uh, there's a section, a, a channel or thread, if you will, just for that. As long as it's family friendly, you could share it over there. Charlie's here. Welcome, Charlie. Hello, Clax. Hello, Roy. Uh, Norberto's here as well. Rex is here. Volume's good. 19 Jace is here. TFLJ. I love BMX. I'm 41. I still ride every couple days. Very cool. Love the Louie Louie song. Yeah, that's going to happen in just a second. So let's try this. So I'm actually using my Xbox 360 controller, which is funny. I don't even have a 360 to, with my Evercade VS because the VS pad is kind of square and you can see um, a little bit of the stuff right there. And I am going to play the BMX game. That's what that's my goal tonight is to play BMX. So we'll let the Louie Louie play for a second while I take a sip of my tea. Hey, happy Easter, Tony. Yep, happy Easter to everybody. Hope you had a good day. Family had a great day. You know, uh, went to church, did the church thing, came home, relaxed, and it all was good. Gave the kids some uh, Easter baskets. And uh, yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. So let's go ahead and let's do BMX. And let's see how I do. So A is jump. Ooh, and I wiped out. I am not good at this game. I've I played this a little bit for the first time. And I tripped on the obstacle. And I only completed the course one time. And as you can see, the score is in the is up there. 24 points is what I got so far. And I found it very easy to wipe out. <laughs> Just like that. So, um, yeah, I'm not good at this game. But the high score is like only in the 400s. It's very hard to get points in this game. You get them for tricks. I only have 38 points right now. And I hit the, the hay bale. Backflips back are the key. Yes, I got to do them, but I'm I'm like just getting used to the course. <laughs> hey, look at that. So you guys will have a good time laughing at me tonight. I don't know that I'm going to do very well at this. <laughs> and I have to remember to... <laughs> It's hard for anybody. Yeah, this, this is a hard ver <laughs> version of the game. I think I just got a concussion there. <laughs> so I probably have to go really, nope, not really slow. And that was my frustration. Time up. Totally hopeless. <laughs> that deserves a sip of tea. Happy Easter, Radio Poultry. Welcome to the stream. 38 whopping points. But we will get better. I hope. <laughs> but at least the Evercade lets me um I hit that hay bell before 
Obviously, I'm not used to this course. I played a lot of the 2600 version. A lot of the 2600 version. I really enjoy the 2600 um, version. Let's, let's see what I can do here. Don't hit the blue thing. I don't know what that blue thing's supposed to be, but you don't want to hit it. Oh, not the hay bale. <laughs> stop, stop. He's dead. <laughs> Whoa. I guess that's where I try and do a bunch of backflips. Because all you do is flips and jumps, I think. You got two buttons. And you could get points if you complete the race. Not a lot. Like one point for every second on the timer, I think it said. I was trying to find the manual online and one manual was like the wrong version. Ugh. I have to get used to the course is what, what it is. And I'm not. <laughs> oh, man. At least I'm doing better. I got six. I'd like doubled my score. I got 65 points now. Way loser. Okay, let's see if we could do this now. Come on, let's go. What? How am I hitting that? Like, I'm stuck. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Got 40 points. Wow, 40 points. So where's that big jump? Ugh. Try to do a backflip. That didn't work. <laughs> I landed on my head. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Woo! Got one. Did a backflip. Wow! That was like a double? That was great. Wow! I did okay there. <laughs> I did not do okay there. I'm going to keep trying the backflip thing. Not too shabby. Hey, I'm my score is like rapidly improving. And so is my concussion count. <laughs> excellent. I got an excellent. Okay. So yeah, don't play like Johnny Knoxville. Hey, what do you think of the drama between the Amico groups and how do you keep your name out of the equation? Well, Sega Strider, I am not into drama. That's the one thing. Like, when it comes to the Miko, I'll talk about the the drama that the company is creating. But I'm not, I just, it's just not my personality. I don't like to talk about other YouTubers in a negative fashion. So I just stay out of it. I just don't. Because honestly, I don't always know the whole, whole story. I don't know the, the whole what's going on. So... It's best just to keep my mouth shut because I'm ignorant of, of some of what's going on and I don't want to, what, what is, what is it? Is it, um, <laughs> why am I put wrong button? <laughs> there we go. What is it? Mark Twain who said better to keep your mouth uh, closed and be thought of a fool than to open it and confirm it or something like that. Right. Yeah, always wear wear a helmet. This 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 is a pro helmet game, obviously. Okay, got it. I got one there. Come on, get over the edge, man. Those someone said those blue things are ruthless, and you are correct. Whatever they are. Whoa, that was sick. Did you see that? Like I bounced. I like did a reverse or something. Holy cow! Don't hit the hay. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are enjoying me. Like just making a fool of myself right here. I should have, I should have did a backflip right there. Ooh. I almost cleared the hay bale. 256. That's like a gaming number, right?
Got an excellent. Yeah, Lester on the, the unlikely. Yeah, it does remind me of that. Hey, new high score. Let's keep this going. I'm actually starting to enjoy this a little bit. <laughs> I probably should start using the reset function. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Whoa. That was good. That wasn't too shabby. Come on. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, yeah, you, man, you have to space yourself just right. <laughs> All right, let's see what I could do now. Let's see, can I do anything? Other than hit the hay. That was like a cheesy joke my buddies in high school and I would do, you know, when we saw hay, like, hey, hey, hey. So it looks like you can only do a jump. That's the jump and the flip. And I guess it all, I don't know. Can I go backwards? And I don't know that I could stop it. I think you just keep flipping once you start. Let's see, can I go reverse? I don't know. Nope, I tried hitting the other way. So I guess you, you can only flip in one thing. Yeah, this has a definitely, the sound chip is very unique when it comes to, okay, I gotta remember not to do that. Let's see, how do I, oh, I hit the Xbox logo to do that. Let's reset. Man, the reset takes a while. Maybe I shouldn't do it because you have to go through the title screen. Hey, thanks, <laughs> Sega Strider. Not a nonsense. Okay, here we go. Nope. Ooh, good. Ooh, not good. All right, let's keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I don't know, because at one time, like, I hit my tire and I went, did a reverse. Oops, I'm, like, too eager to push push the button. Come on, there we go. Got the flip in. Ooh. Yeah, if I could learn the course, I'm, I'm guessing if I had this game as a kid. And this was, like, the pack-in, right? Whoa, what happened? Oh, I hit the trigger. I hit the pause. Because um, the, is it the R2 is pause? See, I did it there. I think if you hit it just right when you're landing, you can actually reverse your momentum and you either fall or it turns into a trick, right? Hey, is four horses, yeah. Ooh, that was a good one. Totally meant to do that. And that was not, it, it actually looked like uh, it kind of looked like, um, that's a, that's a tough spot, spot right there to avoid time up. Cool. So, cause I got 165 points. I want another sip of tea for that one. I'll try not to drink too close to the microphone. So you hear my gulp. Oh yeah, that's right. I reset it. I'm not going to reset it anymore. Wrong button. That first jump, I have to remember to do a regular jump, but I think after that I can do a flip. Ooh. Hey, Nicholas, happy uh, Easter to you too. Yeah, this is kind of like Excite Bite, uh, right? Link's version. This is California Games doing this for a high score challenge over at forums.atari.io. Face planting left and right because I'm I I am not um I'm not used to this game this version and I think it would help me that's what I'm used to the the 2600 version which is way zoomed out compared to this this is really zoomed in come on 
That was not bad. That wasn't bad. Let's see. Ooh, that was good. Oh, get around that hay. Ooh, good. Oh, that was almost really good. They said, I think the manual said you could do a quadruple. I don't know if that's really possible or not. Because it's one of those things where if you go around one time, you get so many points. If you go around two, the second rotation is worth like even tw full in. The second rotation is worth even like double points or a lot more points. So like every rotation you add, I forget not to flip there. Don't flip there. And that was not a, that was like an accidental flip. But yeah, if I had this as a kid, I probably would have memorized the course. Like I did with, uh, ooh, I don't even know how I pulled that off. Let's see, get around the blue thing. Ugh. Stay right there. There you go. I didn't mean to do more than one. I guess because I didn't land flush. Did you know about the secret line at the bottom that lets you avoid all obstacles? I did not. Let's see. Is there... I'm going to try and get to the secret line. Because that would break the game, right? So how far at the bottom is it? I'm going to see if there's truth to that. But obviously, I, I can't get to it there. Hey, Unconventional, I just saw you drop into the chat. Let's see. Because I'm still hitting stuff. Is there really a secret line? Let's see. Ooh. No, I hit something. Hey, Derp. And by the way, hi, Jeremiah. Thank you, loser. Were you into old school SimCity games? I, I really enjoyed the original SimCity and the 2600, or not 2600, the Super Nintendo version. Yesterday I went to Indiana Comic Con, got my photo taken with uh, Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario and Luigi. Very cool. Woohoo! Oh boy! Good. Not good. Speaking of Star Trek, NES Star Trek, I plan to do a live stream of that. I, I wrote out a guide to it. I want to see how good the guide is. Do not go all the way to the grass. The line is right at the bottom of the path. Oh, okay. So let me see if I can do that. Let me see if I can... Come on. I'm like stuck right in a spot. Okay. So is that it? Nope, that's not it. I'm in California. Everything is outrageous. I need to move. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not in California. It does. It seems like it's like one of those states that's, that's beautiful, but has a lot of drama. And a lot of interesting people. So it's like right there. Man, I'm not good at hitting that line, though. Oof is correct. This is totally an oof game. Look at that. Did you see? I bounced my tire. Guess who I was dressed up as? A Pokemon trainer. My Emily was P dressed up as Pikachu. My mom was the trainer's mother. How cute. Most lost. Which is ironic because you guys can't see it. But I have a... Um, I may have showed it off in a video one time. Like I had, I, I don't know. Did I do a video showing off my coffee mugs? Cause I have a ton of coffee mugs. Uh, and one coffee mug I have is actually speaking of lost is my Dharma mug. It actually has the Dharma emblem from the show lost. And it says mug in like generic letters. Let's see. What are the other words? The NES version says, I don't know. Did I just get it? I just got the NES version of um, California games from my retro game treasure box. I haven't even tried it out yet. I'd love to see you live stream Star Trek. It's crazy because I don't know much about Star Trek, but I always found it fascinating. Maybe something I got to look through. Yeah, I'll try and do that sometimes. Oh, thanks, Jerome. Love the Space Invaders stream. 
Okay, let's give this another go. Ooh, I was doing okay for a second there. kind of cool that wasn't hit the a button so you can hit either button to get back on your bike and i have my finger hovering over the flip button because i'm trying to do those flips but if you do it if you use it and i keep mashing it you'll start your bike up again and you'll try and do a flip from like a standing position which will just land you on your head that was sweet that was not wow Woo! Woo! Oh, that would have been great if I could have landed that. Hey, Data Fry. Welcome to the stream. Let's see. Can I do it? That was not smart. I should have used the other jump. But I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at this, maybe? What was up with Atari and large cats? I don't know why they kill her. I don't know why Atari went cat with their... That has to be a Tremel thing because that was way... That was after, you know... Which honestly makes sense. Um, because they want to get, a, you know, it to keep doing the numbers... Oh, hey, Ian, thank you. Happy Easter. Gave me a $5 super chat. Thank you very much. That was very nice. Why is this song, song so intense? I don't know. This is so, this is so... Ugh, oh, comedy of errors, my playing this game. Come on, land. There you go. Come on. Oh, get over the hill. There you go. There we go. Come on. Am I on that line? I might be on that line that he was talking about. I didn't mean to do the double. I bounced and I did the double on accident. Ooh. Hey, Dwayne. Welcome. Hey, Valid. The middle default position is pretty safe. Interesting. Still need to go through the high jump, though. Yeah, the, I am a, a total novice at this game. First time really sinking my teeth into it. I played it for like 20, 30 minutes earlier today, and I haven't really played it before. Some of the music makes me expect to see the Batmobile emerging from the cave. Okay, that's cool. Chuck Norris BMX. Man, if you could be Chuck Norris. Let's try the... Oops. I Wrong button. <laughs> yeah, I do kind of hear that. Ooh, Batman. I hear that. I do hear that. Wow. I did not expect to pull that off. Come on, get above that. Oh, my back tire got on the blue thing. Come on. Ooh, almost did a like a combo there. C -c -c combo breaker. Ooh. Ooh, I landed and then I wiped out. Yeah, dude totally needs a uh, needs a helmet, especially when I'm making him go. I want to see if I can get over 300. I'd be really happy if I could do over 300. I guess I didn't have enough momentum to do that. That was like an accidental flip. <laughs> I might need dental implants after that one. Oh, I should have just done a regular jump. <laughs> oh, man. 
Lynx and Jaguar do sound better than the 10, uh, 10,400. Yeah. I had both versions of the Lynx. This had the best surfing of any California games. Yeah, the surfing. I remember doing the surfing before. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I remember doing surfing because they did a high score challenge on that. And I did okay on that. I haven't really played this version much. So I did buy a Lynx. I bought the Model 2 when they were clearancing the mounts. I actually bought it straight from Atari. And... Um, when I bought it, I actually had to return it like two times because I get one and it had like three dead pixels. I got another one that had four dead pixels and finally I got a good one. So I bought them. We, so I, you know, I, I bought them uh, at the end of life. Hey, WWJD, welcome. I remember the, mo I remember hearing the movie Rat. I don't remember anything about, about it. Like, but I remember seeing something. Hey, Eddie, happy Easter to you, too. Woo! No, I have not reviewed Strider yet. I do have it. I do have it in my collection. I am, um... So Sega Strider asked if I reviewed the Genesis version of Strider. And I have the cartridge complete in the box. Um, I started doing... Some of you guys know this already. Woo, that was nice. But I started doing a black box collection for the Genesis where I'm trying to collect all the black box games, like the original ones by that Sega made. Wow. Didn't expect that. Ooh. I had a chance there. Yeah, someone else said, hey, Bruce, someone else said to go to the bottom. I, I'm having a hard time getting the feel for it. Ooh, that broke with my back. <laughs> so i'm sorry i'm having a hard time getting this game just right so i hope you're getting some enjoyment of this hey e king welcome let's see um i have a cib copy of atari 2600 port of california games i bought that like brand new from toys r us when i had my 7800 do you think the evercade is worth buying if you already have other ways to play most of the games um that's a good question. I mean, I like it because it's opening up a bunch of games uh, for me. Uh, you know, legal games. Obviously, you could download an emulator. Uh, so I do like that. And so I guess look through the cartridges and see if, if you could buy enough to do it. I mean, it's pretty cheap, right? You know, $100 can get you a system with a controller and a game. So I like it. I like it for what it is. So, and this opens for me, it works really good for streaming. It works really good for streaming because it allows me to, um, it opens the door for other games. Why am I doing that? Oh, hey, yep. I got to do Waterworld, to Tony, totally. So I got to do Star Trek and Waterworld. I have to put those on my to-do list. So thanks for the super chat though, too. So like super chats don't guarantee like I'll do a game, but uh, Tony's been asking me to do Waterworld for a while. Sword Quest Waterworld, that is. And I definitely need to do that. It's the easiest of the Sword Quest games to quote unquote beat and play. So Oh, that would have been great if I could have landed. And I also think that Blaze has done with the Evercade. I'm really impressed because, uh, oh, I had a, uh, I bought um, an Atari handheld that Blaze ma ma made. No, I didn't buy it. Willie from Arcade USA gave it to me. That's right. And I reviewed it and it the quality, the sounds were really off. And they seem to have gotten their emulation a lot better. 144. Let's just do a few hops and end the stream. BMX Bandits. Yeah, Kamchia says the Amico people could learn from the Evercade. 
I don't think I'll grab a, a grab an Evercade, but I'm happy it's successful. Yeah, they did it right, right? They kept it. They kept their goals realistic. Uh, cheap make pro uh, cheap product. I don't mean like you know it's poor quality, but uh, it's it's cheap. How about 2600 Spy Spy Hunter with the dual control module? Guess what I have in my collection? I actually have that, and I do want to review that one day. Waterworld on the Virtual Boy, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, em em emulators are f are free, but there's definitely you know um, legal issues with those because if you don't own a legit copy and it's not abandoned where where technically it's illegal, of course, not that you know the FBI is going to get on you for that or anything like that. I guess they could. So I do like to try it for my streams. I like to try to keep things legal. And um, also with my setup, it works better if what I'm streaming with is coming from an outside source and not on my computer. Because when I try to do those Gatoroos games um, that for the, the Amico like parody games like Hater Smash, uh, it did give me some problems trying to stream and play it on my computer at the same time. We're here. I'm playing on my Evercade outside of my computer and it allows the stream to go smoother and have better quality. So for my setup, it, it also helps not to use an emulator. Woo! Look at that. Woo! Oh, why did I... I thought I would have landed there. I'm surprised that that didn't work. And that, that one I understand. I hit the hay. Oh, get it? Hit the hay? Haha. <laughs> I love my Evercade, both the handheld and the, my VS, but I don't like the D-pad. Yeah, I'm using my Xbox 360 controller. I said it at the beginning of the stream, but if anyone missed it, I don't even have a 360, but I bought this controller from a garage sale, and it's become a big kind of blessing for me because I used it to play those Hater Smash games, Hater, Hater, whatever, and it works with the VS really nicely, actually. Because the VS does support uh, some third-party controllers, and this is one of them. <laughs> Come on, jump. There you go. Crisscross will make you jump. Oh, wait. Don't want to get um copyright flagged for doing the crisscross song. Wow, I stuck right there. I'm sorry I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> I wonder if Sword Quest is... No, I don't think it is. I, I think Waterworld's on the Flashback 8 Gold, so I might play it that way. I might get out my Flashback 8 Gold for when I do that. Oh, I'm just going to fall on my head a few times because this is a dead, this is a bad run and read the chat. Lynx is a tech marvel. Yeah, and it was originally done by Epix. And, and, um, but yeah, it did eat batteries. So I believe, uh, I believe that uh, Atari bought it from Epics. That's why a lot of the games are were like Epics games. Oh, I like the Sega Saturn. The D-pad on the VS is very similar to the Saturn D-pad. I didn't think about that. It was just a square rectangular shape of it. I like the 360 controller because, you know, it's more ergonomic. Hey there, Warrior Up. Welcome. Yeah, I mean, this is my Founder Edition. Which I guess am I... So there, I made two mistakes. I made an unboxing video with my Founder Edition. And I kept saying Founder's Edition. I think a couple times they did refer to it that. But on the actual system, it says Founder, no S. And... I don't know that you're supposed to call it the Versus. I think you're supposed to call it the VS, and I call it the Versus, which, you know, VS is short for Versus, because I saw a trailer today that um, Evercade put together for some something, like their UI or something, where they narrated it, and they called it the VS. So I think it's just supposed to be the VS. I'm sure Versus is okay to say. Oh, man. <laughs> I got to remember to come back with the... Um, with the A button. Did 
there's like moments where I feel like, oh, I'm starting to get this. And then moments where I fall on my face. So let's see if I can find that line, the safe line. Which is supposed to be on the bottom near the edge of the grass, apparently. Well, you don't want a face plant there. No problem, guy with the green hat. No worries at all. A lot of people use emulation. Uh, it's a very common thing to do. It's just not something I, 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 I use. And I like to play on real hardware when I can. Sword, Sword Quest Waterworld's on the Atari Vault. I don't have that. Um, but yeah, the nice thing about the VS2 is it's small. The footprint is very small. It is about the size... Gee, uh, honestly, the best comparison is like if you've ever gone to a church and they have like a standard hymnal or Bible, it is about that size. So it's about the size of like a hardbound, smallish book, I guess. I don't know how best to say it, but that that's kind of the size of it. I'm trying to think, oh, you know what else? This will make it good. It's kind of the size of, it's a little bit smaller than a VHS clamshell. It's a little bit bigger than like a standard VHS tape, but like a V, but, but like a clamshell a VHS tape it's a little bit smaller so kind of in between there so I hope that helps gives you an idea of how small the thing is hey Jess Bell I have the first link friend had a cable we played war barons against each other first and last time no one had the links that's a that's awesome I've never heard of people like back in the day having friends who had a links I'm just being honest I mean obviously Atari conventions people might get together and bring their links or whatever but I've never heard of people um growing up having the cable. Like, I had a Lynx. I don't know anyone who had a Lynx. And I only bought it at the end of its lifespan. Everyone had, like, the Game Boy. Maybe one or two people I knew had the Game Gear. But other than that, it was all Game Boy. Oh, I was right there. Come on, stop hitting the... Uh, flip button when I when I fall Ooh, that was good oh yeah a good a good comparison for Easter Sunday right yeah if you ever went to a hotel and you and you saw one of those Gideon Bibles like that's about the size of a VS that should give you an idea I was like, how do I say how big it is? Because it, it's 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 small. It's tiny. It doesn't take up a lot of space. You might see it in the background of some of my future videos. Because right now, it's like I'm, I'm in that area. So it, we'll see if it makes it. I don't know if, it's gonna, if I'm going to have to move it to make space for some of my stuff. 218. Looks like a slight profanity there. I don't know if you consider that word a profanity or not. Some do, some don't. I like doing a mix of hardware and emulation. I got a, a CRT TV on Friday from a record AV equipment uh, store for cheap. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I thought v VS. I thought the... the um, I never thought of Virtual System, but I thought it was for like Versus because they do hype up, just like the Amico, the couch co-op aspect of it because you can plug in Four, oops, I hit pause again. You can plug in four controllers on the thing. And it comes with either one or two controllers, depending which bundle you buy. And they sell separate controllers. And you can use the portable as a controller with the correct cable. And of course, I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. I might have found the little area that I'm supposed to... Let's get over this. Ooh, gotta remember my back tire. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that would hurt. You know, I, I, I'm, I, I um, subscribe to the Evercade Discord. I should ask them, like, can is it just the VS or can you call it like the Versus?
Yo. Fooling. I got an R zone with the headband and the screen over one eye. Yeah, I'd like to try to stream that. Hey, Nacho Man. Do I need to say hello to anybody else? Have I missed anybody? If I did, I'm sorry. You know, I try to shout out everybody I see in the chat. E. King likes a VS controller. Well, maybe I should use it. I haven't used it, really. I just thought that I might like this better. Where did I put it? Where did I set it down? I'm just seeing if I set it down nearby. Is it in my pile of controllers over here? No. I'll try it sometime. Okay. And that's what I wasn't supposed to do. Oh, that first jump I keep forgetting. I also forget because I'm chatting at the same time, which is fun. It just doesn't go good for my man brain because um, men are wired uh, the way our brains are to really be able to focus on one thing at a time, whereas the female brain is interconnected a lot more, right? So like, like my wife, she can remember a bunch of things at once. I can't. I forget. I forget sometimes... This is, uh, I guess, close to embarrassing, but I forget sometimes, you know, where I set down my phone. I remember one time in college, I, I, I don't, I couldn't find the cordless phone. And somehow I left it in the fridge. I left it in, in my fridge. That was when I, I had like a little apartment on campus by myself. That was like my senior year. I lived in the dorms before that for a couple of years, you know, in a, in a four person dorm. That would have been great if I landed it. But yeah, there was one time where, and I forgot my keys. Oh my goodness. I forgot my key. I locked myself out of my apartment so many times that I got to know the landlady, uh, really, which was just another college student that worked for the university. You know, you get, I guess you get like a discounted or a free room for being like the landlady, but man. So yeah, bogus. So long story short, sometimes when I'm doing more than one thing at, at once, I forget. I like I'll forget what I, what I'm doing or set something down and not realize I did that. Look at this. Awesome. That was a great start. Only 71 points for all that, but it was a really good start. Oh, my first trip. Uh, hey, Ernest. Welcome to the stream. Why didn't that land? So yes, I've lost my keys more than more times than I care to remember. I've lost my phone and I often have it on vibrate. So, you know, it's not like I can ask my wife to call my phone. Well, I do. I have her call it, but I'm listening for the, I'm listening for something to vibrate, right? Which sometimes depending where you left your phone can be really hard. Ooh, there is an end. There is an end. And I'll, you know what? I'll see if I can get to it eventually, but. Good evening, NSG. The best is when you forgot what you went into a certain room of your house for. Yes, I've done that. As clumsy as I am, I can remember some random obscure stuff. GF is reverse. Light ADHD medication helps a lot. Come on, I gotta do better. I started getting in the groove in that one. So let's see if I could do that again. That was pretty good. Good start. Come on, keep going. Keep going. You could do it, buddy. I think I can. I think I can. There's just that one spot. Not there, but I guess I have to go up. Oh, it puts me like right by. Oh, come on. There we go. 
like put me right by okay so we gotta get up here oh look at all those hay bales Ooh. I should have done a flip right there. I should have done a flip. Bail. Oh. 182. Not bad. I think I need to check what the high score is. It's in the 400s over there. I think I might have second place now over at forums.atari.io for this high score thing. If you have a Google account, I use that to ring my phone when I can't find it. Even if it's on vibrate, Google still rings. Oh yeah, that's interesting. When you start after a crash, try not to go up or down at all. Most of the time you will have a few seconds to cl of clear sailing. I'll see if I could do that. I'll try that next time. There we go. 70 points. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Yes, I'm not used to this version, but even though my score is not really improving, I feel like I'm getting a better feel. Oh, it's right there. That's the tricky one. I guess I didn't have space to. Ooh, nice. Oh, come on. That was dumb of me to try to do that flip there. <laughs> I should definitely try to get like I'm just trying to do flips for points but yeah there is an end man okay let's do this uncool dude uncool thought I was in a good spot. Okay, so we have this hill. I guess I should hop off that one. I need to memorize this, but I haven't memorized it yet. That was good. That's the hill right there. If I could just figure out how to navigate this thing. All right. Ooh, hey. Ooh. Oh, I should have just jumped. I think I'm, I'm not sure, but I might be close to the end there. Too bad you can't just bunny hop. Yeah. Hey, Brian F. My links has been recapped, but the screen is dark on both sides. I want to install a new modern CD LCD. Yeah. The McWill, is it what it's called? It's supposed to be really good, but that's like way beyond my skills. So it's expensive. And not only would I have to buy it, but I'd have to pay someone to install it for me. Oh, come on. See right there. Ooh. Oh. 
I tried to make, I tried to get by that one. I, ugh. no, I have, I don't have a Strider review in the works. I have the game. I have not got around. It is a really good port of the arcade game. I will say that. I remember, it, I remember they made a big deal of Strider when it came out, how many megs it used, how it was like close to the arcade. Why did I do that? So just for fun, I think I'm going to try to, I don't know. I want to get to the end of the course. Oh, stop hitting pause. Okay, let's see if I can get to the end of the course without doing that stuff. <laughs> I'm just like falling over myself. Oh, I'm so terrible, but I'm getting better. <laughs> can I do the easy course without the blue things? Uh. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm like, I'm going to try to do it nice and slow. And I'm like, uh, keep moving down. When you get to that same hay bale, don't, if you're on that line, you'll miss it. Almost. And this is tough. This is a tough version. Do 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 Batman. Oh man, I've been doing this almost an hour. Just channel your inner Paperboy. You had a lot more. T I haven't played the Lynx version of Paperboy yet. There is a Lynx version of that. Oh, come on. Urgh. Let's see. What do I do? Let's I, I'm I'm going to reset it. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to start using save states. Just to go back to the beginning. So let's see. How do, how do I do a save state? There we go. Weird sound there. Oh, that should have been okay. So I'm not going to like save state like in the middle of the race, but just to restart it quicker is what I'm going to use the save state for. I, it stinks when they put you right there. <laughs> Let's see. Um, favorite kind of pie? Pumpkin pie. Give me a nice cold pumpkin pie. I should have been doing this since the beginning. Oh, come on. I went down a little bit and hit the hay. I'm trying to stay straight, but... Maybe I should folk use the D-pad instead of the analog stick. Might try that next time. Oh, I thought that would do it. Come on, wrong button. Come on, land. Oh.
see Link's Paperboy is good. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh my goodness, do I remember those commercials? Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Ah. Uh, yeah, I should have been doing this. I really gotta get my starts down. I'm not doing too good. Ugh. Let's see, if I go straight, I don't hit that. Okay. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. Little low there. I think if I let go of the D-pad, I stop spinning maybe? Ooh, I did it. I landed that time. I proceeded to fall, but I landed. Oh, come on. There has to be a way to stop my spinning or to regain momentum. I found that line. I was on to something there. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's the finish line. You actually saw it. I didn't get there. If only you could use your Miko disc. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to the D-pad now. It seems to be helping me. See if I could do this better. Forgot to flip there. Here we go. Oh, that was pretty good. I don't know why I tripped there. Oh. Uh, come on. Only took me an hour, but I feel like I'm getting a feel. And, and yeah, I should have been... I should have been doing the D-pad the whole time. And the save states. Work smarter, not harder, right? I thought I was going to fall there for a second. Oh, if only I could have landed that. That would have been great. Ooh, hit that. Hey, I, I let my finger slip a little downward and If I can get to the end here. I think if I had more time with this game, I could actually get decent with it. There we go. I crossed the finish line for the first time. Hey, Tommy. Oh, happy Easter to you, too.
Now that I'm getting a feel for this. Oh, let's load it. Let's see. Oh, you're in California. It was nice out. We were talking about how nutty California was <laughs> a few seconds ago. Ugh. Like, it seems like a place that is beautiful to live in and has a lot of drama. So you tell me, Tommy, if that's a, a fair assessment of California. Woo! Woo! Look at this. Oh, I was doing good, too. That was great. Look at that. Oh, I got greedy. I'm definitely flying more. Oh, I should have hopped. Oh, come on. See, I lived in, I lived in Florida for a while and, you know, there's like always the Florida man stories, right? Like the crazy guy who does something really stupid. So I understand sometimes those beautiful places, you know, because I love living in Florida. Florida is a very beautiful place to live in, but we had our share of interesting stuff going on. Oh, come on. Sometimes I can get under it. Sometimes I can't. Don't know why. Oh. How do I get over that? That's just such, such poor placement. Yeah, we have uh, the beach, the mountains, the desert, hippies, neo-Nazis, born-again Christians, people from Asia everywhere. Yeah, you have everybody there. Now let me tell you about Texas. Tell you what, if, if, if our country... is Did I quick save it? Okay, let's go. Oh, I did a quick save right at the beginning. Crud, I'll have to do a new one. If our country went down the tubes, Texas is the only place that could stand on its on its feet. Don't know how realistic that is, but I, I know people from Texas are fiercely proud and everything's bigger in Texas and self-sufficient. So, like if ever Washington totally went bonkers, which I don't care which side of the aisle you're on, there have been some crazy presidents, some interesting presidents on both sides of the aisle, so it could happen. See, I couldn't live in, um, in my state it was 34, <laughs> 5 degrees. I'm not even watching myself play. I'm looking at the chat. It takes 12 or 14 hours to drive down the state, 4 hours. Yeah, California is huge. Can live in Florida. I can take a lot of the heat and live upstate, but New York, but the crime and violence up here is getting really bad. Yeah. New York has, I mean, basically anywhere, anywhere, um, anywhere. Let's do this. Let's do a quick save. Let's anywhere. You get a lot of people together, big cities you have a potential for problems. The bigger the city, the more problems you'll have, no matter what state it is, typically. That's just what happens when you get a lot of people together. Crazies come out. It's like the internet, right? 
like before the internet, there wasn't as many crazy people, but with the internet, a bunch of people got together and all the crazies, you know, could join whatever your interest. I'd like to visit Alaska someday. I know some people from who grew grew up there and it's it's definitely a different way of life for a lot of people. Oh, I should have just hopped. It's like I had to wait for my bike. Oh, come on. Two seventy two gnarly. I think that's my new high score. I'm at San Fran, but I'm a political moderate, not a real hippie. Um, I've been in California twice. Really enjoy San Diego. I heard San Diego has beautiful weather. San Francisco the same way. Lived in Alaska for three years, but Texas all the way. Yeehaw. Um, I'm in Colorado. Really love it. Oh, Colorado. Yeah. If you like the altitude and the mountains, right? Is that or is that just the Denver area? Like some of the Colorado's not like that. Man, I want to keep going. I'm slightly addicted to this game. Every state has their good, good and bad qualities. I think it's fair to say. Like I grew up in Michigan, and Michigan, it has some really beautiful areas in it, but the roads are trash. I remember driving back to Michigan after living in Florida and I didn't realize how bad the roads were until I crossed the border. I think it was Ohio. Come on. I was doing really good on that run too. Accidental 360 there. I didn't even try that one. Oh, that's so tough. You're around so many obstacles. Oh, there you go. Just uh, was it Jeremiah who told me just go straight. I, that's what I should have done. Woo. Why? Why did? not Oh, boom. I had to hit the button to get up. New high score. 382. Yeah, people in Ukraine, man, they would come to any state. I'm in the plains of Colorado, but it's still almost a mile in elevation. I was born here, but people move here because of the politics. I'd like to move away by Yosem out by Yosemite someday. So they move there because of the politics. Interesting. I th I've heard people who leave there because of the politics. So I guess it works both ways, right? YouTube's about the only social media I use. I use YouTube and Twitter. I used to use Facebook a lot, but I kind of stopped. I just got done with the drama. And I, sometimes I don't like Twitter because of the same things, because all the drama. I just like to do it to stay in touch with people so people can message me and to post my stuff. But three eighty-two, really good. I guess I should call it a night. I, I want to keep playing, but it's like 12 past midnight. Um, Easter's officially over, I guess, at least here in the Eastern time zone. So I guess that, I guess that'll be it. So thank you guys for watching. That was my Evercade. I'll, I'll show you the, let's see if I can go back to the quit. And you could check out the menu. Let's see, B to go back. Because you can see I have some of the Technos arcade collection in here too. I have two cartridges in here right now. And those are some of the games. So like Slime World, Zarlor, Mercenary, Electro Cop, which I had that growing up. Gates of Zendikon, which that artwork right there, if that ship is the same as the asteroid ship for the 2600. If you look at the asteroids box art, it's the same ship. They repurpose that ship. Chips Challenge. Checkered Flag, California Games, Blue Lightning, and then for the Arcade Technos Collection, got this Battle Lane Volume 5 Blockout, 
Double Dragon 2 or 3. I wish they had Double Dragon 1. The Combat Tribes, Mysterious Stones, Minky Monkey, and Mania Challenge. So, so there you go. Anyways, that is California Games, the BMX collection. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thanks for the tips. I appreciate it. And someone else gave me tips too. Who who else? I'm trying to see, scroll back, but I, someone else was giving me tips too. Uh, I don't know. Was it Vincent? Vincenzo? I don't know. But whoever else gave me the tips, thank you. I'm sorry in the stream I got so many names going by, I forget. But yeah, thanks for the help. I, I'm happy with that score. So thanks again. Uh, I'll catch you later.